I love this design. I love the green and black. I love that this is metal. This is this is metal. That's a lot of metal right there, which is good. Alrighty, so today what we are going to do is we are going to do a versus video between the brand new Ryobi Hammer Drill HP that just came out, I just got it a few days ago, versus the older modeled brushless hammer drill. Now, and this is gonna be a good one. I seriously wanna see what the difference is between these two, and that's what we're gonna find out today. We're gonna find out if your upgrade is worth doing or not. I wanna say sorry for my subscribers because I did an unboxing and test of this live. YouTube glitched out and I cannot turn the members only live chat off. All right, so every time I go to turn it off and I save the settings, it put it back on. And so I'm going to postpone live for right now until YouTube fixes that. The point of going live is to interact with you guys while, while I'm live and test these tools out to see what your guys' feedback is and stuff like that. So uh, I'm hoping YouTube can fix it soon, but we will see. As you can see, battery is full and battery is full. Old HP, new HP, it is a new HP tool. Older brushless tool that accepts HP, uh, uh, HP signal. So let's see what these two could actually do against each other. So for the first test, what we are going to do, the battery is full. First test what we're going to do is we're going to do a one and a quarter inch uh, speed bore. Speed two. Let's see if it could, let's see if it'll do it on speed two. If not, we'll go to speed one. All right, so ready, go. Nope, it failed on speed two, so it re speed one is required. All right, we'll go right here. Ready, go. That was time. All right, so it failed on speed two and it requires speed one. No, so let's see if the new one requires speed one. One and a quarter speed four. Battery on this one is full as well. I love that ratcheting chuck. Lock it, uh, turn right once to lock it in place. Locked. I love that feature. All right, speed two, it's on drill. Right here is good. All right, so ready, go. Nope, it failed on speed two. Speed one is required. So let's continue right here. Ready, go. Time. All right, that is a disappointment though. I was hoping it would be able to do that on speed two, but speed one is required for that. Speed one is required for that. All right, so next let's do a one and a half inch speed bore. Obviously it couldn't do one and a quarter inch, so speed one will be required. Let's see if this can even do it. All right, so right here is good. All right, so ready, go. There we go. Very good. Look how thick those are. All right, so that was the time for that one. Let's go to the latest and greatest version. And I'm not sure if you guys noticed, but testing out hammer drills is this, uh, uh oh, that's not good. There we go. Testing out hammer drills on this channel is my favorite thing to do. Every channel has their own uh, tool that they love testing out the most. On this channel, it's hammer drills. All right, so ready, go. Up, oh, uh, speed one, it's on drill. Go. Time. 
Am I a little disappointed that it couldn't, it can't do a uh, one and a quarter, quarter inch on speed too? Yeah, I, I am. But still, uh, it's, it's still a nice drill. It's still a nice drill. I was hoping that it, could, it, it, it was able to do that. On, uh, the, this is one and a half, the one and a quarter inch. But that's the time for that. Now let's go to the next one. Alrighty, so on this test, on the log, what we're, we're gonna do is we're gonna drive in two six inch specs, two timber locks, two four inch lags, and two six inch lags. We're gonna do one each, and we'll see in how well these actually perform. Let's do the specs first. All right, so ready, go. Time. All right, it's on speed two, it's on drill. Right here is good, much better handle. All right, so ready, go. Time. All right, let's take out that specs for the P252, I think this is. Yeah, the P25, sorry, the P251. All right, ready, go. Time. Ryobi HP. All right, ready, go. Wow, I, I could tell that that one had more power. Alrighty, so we are gonna do the eight inch lag, uh, the eight, eight inch timber lock next. Right here is good. It's on speed two, it's on drill. All right, so ready, go. Time. The HP next right here is good. All right, so ready, go. Oh, my bad, that was in reverse. Need a new spot right there is good. All right, so ready, go. Time. I do not know what the test results are. I find that out at the end uh, when I edit the video. Ready? Go. That one seemed to struggle in the beginning for a second. Let's see if we get here a struggling for this one. All right, ready? Go. What the heck was that? That spun in place. Yeah, that's spinning in place. Alrighty, so uh, that spun in place. So what I am going to do actually is redo that one. All right, ready, go. Time. All right, let's take it out. Ready. Ready, go. That's better. Time. Now that that that's the time. Whatever that one was, that's the time. That was weird. All right, so next what we're going to do is we're, we are going to do the four inch lag. Right here should be, right here should be good. Actually, we'll do it right here. It's on uh, drill speed one. Speed one is required for every tool brand to do this task. No drill has the torque to do this on speed two. All right, so ready, go. Time. All right, so the new HP is next. When it comes to this task, I do not lock it because I'd rather have the bolt of uh, this come out in the situation I'm in than ruin the chuck. Because this type of torque will destroy that chuck if you lock your your bit in the in, into the chuck. All right, speed one, it's on drill. All right, so ready, go. Time. Take out the older model. Speed one, it's on drill. Ready, go. Time. Guys, one thing you got to admit, even for the older model to do that, it's 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 pretty powerful. Are there more powerful drills out there than 
other than this one? Oh yeah, but doing it takes a lot of power to do this task, and both of these are able to do it. All right, so ready? Go. Time. All right, four inches are done. We'll do the six inches right here. That's good. All right, so ready? Go. You can do it. You can do it. Did it. It did it. Not too shabby. Not too shabby at all. It's on speed one. It's on drill. All right, so ready? Go. Time. It did it. It did it. Alrighty, so let's take uh, the the older version six inch lag out. Play that down. Ready? Go. Time. I'll I stop the timer at the correct time. I spin it a little bit longer just to make sure it's out. We have this. Let's take this out. Speed one, it's on drill. Let's actually lay this down. Ready? Go. Oh, see, that's why I spin it for a little bit longer. I'll continue the timer. Time. All right, so I want to do one more test. Let's put that to hammer feature, put this to hammer feature. We're going to do more hardcore concrete tests in the future. So please subscribe to the channel for that. Does it work? <laughs> yes, it does. Love this handle. Love it. All right. Oh, the first one. This one goes first. Does this one work? <laughs> Speed two. <laughs> yes, it does. It's on hammer. Right here is good. All right. So, ready? Hopefully, the mic doesn't glitch out. Ready? Go. <laughs> Time. That was time. All right, so next let's do the, the new HP. Let's see how well this hammer feature is. Right here is good. All right, so speed two, it's on hammer. Ready, go. <laughs> I only need to clear the shoot once or twice. That's not bad. That's not bad at all. Now, those are the two holes. Let's vacuum that up really quick. So, alrighty, that's vacuumed up. Uh, the final bag of life is uh, three bars on the older model, three bars on the newer models. So, they're both of the same battery consumption. Alrighty, so for the previous model, this is model number P251. This is a brushless, uh, this is brushless, fully metal half inch chuck. And this design was good back when it first came out, but I think this is old school now. It looks cheap, compared, like the, right here with the hammer feature is it's plastic. And this is actually just like a, like a uh, molding that they insert in there. So like that's plastic. All right, so this has a 24 point clutch and it has its own se separate tan transmission for drill, screw, and hammer feature. All right, so two speed settings. This goes to zero to 410 RPM on speed one and zero to 1800 RPM on speed two. 
Did not give any other specs other than that. I will put the hammer uh, specs in right now along with the torque. And so yeah, this is uh, uh, this was a decent model years ago, but now it is obsolete. This has a magnetic uh, base. It has a bit holder on the front of the base as well, and it has a single LED light on the base. And so yeah, that is the P251. All right, for a major upgrade, in my opinion, this is the newest and latest and greatest for Ryobi. I truly believe people need to give more credit to Ryobi because they are no longer the, the company that makes complete crap. They've been making decent tools for the past couple years, and I personally am a fan of Ryobi as well. Like I said, I love all tool brands, which includes Ryobi. This hammer drill is awesome. For what I tested out in the live stream, this hammer drill is seriously awesome. All right, so this is model number PBL HM101, and this has a 22-point clutch plus two, and so the this does not have its own separate transmission. This has uh, drill, uh, this has hammer and drill. Anything outside of that is a uh, screw. Two speed settings: speed one is zero to 500 RPM, and speed two is zero to zero to 2100 RPM, and that is. Wow, 300 RPMs more on speed two and uh, 80 RPMs more on speed one. This does not, uh, 31,000 beats per minute. I'll put the torque in right now. This does not have a magnetic, uh, a magnetic tray on the base. It just has a single LED light right there. I love this design. I love the green and black. I love that this is metal. This is, this is metal. That's a lot of metal right there, which is good. Which, which that is extremely good to have. It's a half inch fully metal chuck. This is the new battery design. It does, one thing I am very disappointed with, it is there is, is not a rubber molding on the base. All right, so I love rubber moldings on batteries because this will prevent you from uh, scratching up a, a finished surface. And so for, this is a four amp hour, and this is the previous HP four amp hour battery. This one does have a rubber molding on the base. This is model number P162. All right, so the battery is full on here. It does have a, a larger display. And so, yeah, so that is the new battery. Since we're on the subject of these two, let's talk about the new handle for the hammer drill. All right, so this is the previous, uh, hand, this, this is the previous handle. And all this was is two plastic pieces with a metal, uh, with a metal sort of screw. That would fit in there, then you put this one on, then you would screw this in to be your handle, which is not very big. I don't like that. And the only thing that is actually metal is that screw. So even the surroundings of this metal screw is plastic. So if you put enough pressure, you'll just flat out snap the shell of the actual tool. But the new one, which I do, there is a little, there is a design flaw. I do not like that these two sway have that much play because you actually need to coordinate them to go in. You see, uh, has it right here. This little, uh, that little rectangle goes in here. And you got to coordinate that on both sides. So you pretty much, instead of just uh, put it in place, you got to, Make sure those are aligned. Then you uh, just twist it like all the other uh, handles for other models. Then it is on. It is a much more robust handle. Alrighty, we're actually gonna test it out in the future between the three amp hour HP battery that has 2,100 cells in it. This is model number P195. Uh, this is part of the Black Friday sale for $50 each. And so, yeah, but we are going to test that out in the future, and we're also going to test out the HP batteries in the compact tools to see if they actually give the little boost. Since these ones were the first ones out, and these uh, this 4 amp hour battery was not available at the time. So, yeah, so major testing coming up, you guys. That's what the channel is. Once again, uh, in my opinion, no matter what the results are, I do not know what they are, I would go for the new one because this one, if it does not feel cheap in your hand. This feels like this will last you a long, a much longer time than this one would. This one does feel a little bit on the cheap side. You gotta love the new handle. To me, it's totally worth it because on how just how inexpensive this feels in your hand. It's this is this has some weight to it, but this feels like it's, it's solid in your hand. It does not feel cheap.
I just want to say sorry to my subscribers again for the live that uh, was marked as for members only when it comes to the live chat. Uh, that's that's on YouTube Zen. I do not know what happened. They're actually working on it right now. I talked to them. So hopefully we, we can get this resolved. But I am not going live until that's fixed. Because the point of me going live is to interact with you guys. And I might as well just upload a video if I can't interact with you guys during the stream. So... That's pretty much it, you guys. I hope you found this video helpful and entertaining. Please like this video. Please hit the bell button to be notified of future videos. And please subscribe to the channel. This is Dave Nicholas. Thank you for tuning in. I'll see you guys next time.